Hello friends, and welcome to another Modern League. We're returning to Yawgmoth Combo, one of my favorite decks in Modern. And we're going to uh, take it through a league. Now we're running the uh, spell board again. Um, one of the things that I've uh, done in the past with this deck is run a list of uh, silver bullets in the sideboard. Since we're running so many search effects, uh, it's fairly easy to grab a one of creature and slam it onto the battlefield. So if a collector oof or a blight beetle is good, then it's fairly easy to uh, to put it onto the battlefield. Um, but today we're running the uh, spell board, which runs um, more traditional cards like uh, endurance and damping sphere and force of vigor. And then we've also got uh, Punishment versus um, Urza Saga decks. I uh, tried the spell board once before, um, and I wanted to try it again, so that's what we're doing today. Oh, this hand is no good. We only have one land, and it's a Twilight Mire. Must mulligan. Opponent has Lurus as a companion. Uh, this is a little bit better. We can keep this. All right, so we're going to want to keep the two lands. That's pretty obvious. I'm actually leaning towards getting rid of the Hapatra. Um, Scurry Oak can win the game with uh, Ivy Lane Denizen if we Eldritch Evolution like a Strangaroot Geist or something. Snow Covered Plains and Lurus makes me think of Hammer Time. It is. It is Hammer Time. So we could actually be dead um, on turn two here. If they have land, Hammer, Hammer. We actually have nothing to play here, just for basic forest go. Ours is Saga, yep. So if they have double hammer here, we're dead. Nope. Steel Shaper's Gift says one hammer incoming. Yep. So we take 11 here. Uh, so we're dead to spear. Also, we need to start drawing lands. So with our life total being so low, I'm really interested in getting the scurry combo to work okay let's see if we're dead block not dead nice land please okay so we play the scurry oak this turn and then, because oh, we have to block with the Geist, so we're not going to have a creature to evolve to get the next piece. Uh, this, is a, this is definitely an awkward position to be in. And we're going to have to leave both back because they're going to have the uh, potentially Nerza Saga token here.
It's a 3-3 now, but it's not going to be a 3-3 when it's attacking. I think this just goes get Spear and we're dead. Okay, so, uh, what are we going to do against Hammer Time? Rex Sage, Pair of Force of Vigors, Pair of Punishment. Uh, we're going to take out Ivy Lane, we're going to take out Scurrio, we're going to take out one of the Messengers. Uh, I think we take out Spellskite, because they can't equip any equipment to a Spellskite. So we only need to take one more card out. But of course it's going to be the hardest one to decide which one it should be. Okay, we got a pair of lands, Force of Vigor, this hand is amazing. Keep. Opponent is mulliganing heavily, so this Force of Vigor should be very good. Let's go for an overgrown tomb, no ignoble hierarch. Opponent doesn't have anything much to play this turn. Ah, oh, Twilight Mire's fine. So we could go Twilight Mire, Wall of Roots. I'm wondering if we want to like hold the bird for the Force of Vigor, or if we can just like Worst case, discard the Eldritch Evolution to it. Feel like I really need to keep this Eldritch Evolution to go get Yogmoth. We're not going to die next turn. So worst case, we can hold up mana for the Force of Vigor. Pure Steel Paladin, that is a card. But uh, we can go get Yogmoth and kill their board. Let's see what we draw. Another Force of Vigor. Cool. Alright, so one, two, three, and then we'll have one, two, three, four mana left. No, because we're going to be sacrificing the Wall of Roots. So we're not going to have enough mana to cast the Force of Vigor if we go get Yogg. I think we're just going to have to accept that. Okay, so yeah, we have three mana left. We could attack for one in the air here. And then I could just kill the Pure Steel Paladin. 
Ah, uh, we would have to discard a Force of Vigor to do that. I'm gonna pass. Um, well, we get to draw a card first. I guess I can do it in response if I need to. Stoneforge, sure. Get a hammer, yep. And there's a Thopter, yep. Sure. Mm hmm. We could have prevented them from drawing a card there. Um, probably should have done that. So they're going to try and equip it to the Pure Steel Paladin. I guess we'll kill the Paladin then. Hey there, Blind. Welcome, welcome. Grist. Oh, I don't want to discard Grist. Nice hammer, opponent. Alright, so we're both down on resources, but opponent does have access to Luris on their side. We have access to Force of Vigor on ours. So I think I'm just going to hold up Force of Vigor here. I'll attack for three. think they're going to have a pretty hard time beating two Force of Vigor. Hey there, Gizlo. Yeah, I uh, I kind of want to play a lot of Yagmoth, to be honest. Um, I'm thinking, like, I might play uh, Yagmoth or Hammer Time on Fridays. So they're going to do On Thin Ice, which is going to get rid of the Yagmoth. Um, we're going to let that happen. We have Force of Vigor to get Yagmoth back. I think we'll just get rid of the On Thin Ice and Colossus Hammer. Blizzilla, hello and welcome. Thanks for joining us. Get rid of Hammer and On Thin Ice. Ooh. Well, unfortunately, this is not good right now. We could kill the two Ornithopters for two mana, but, I mean, like, whatever. We could discard it with a Force of Vigor if we want to, but, I mean, basically, I'm just going to attack for three here and pass the turn back. Sanctifier on Vec is pretty good. Has uh, protection from Yawgmoth. Exiles are Grist. Don't really want to use the Force of Vigor here, so... Ah, as unfortunate it is, as it is, we're basically just going to do nothing with that last turn, except for attack for three. Gyogmoth has protection from it as well, that is very true. Play another Ignoble Hierarch, we get to attack for more damage. 
Also, we have Punishment for two, not this turn, but that would get rid of Sanctifier. Yeah, you might try and block, but it's not going to work. Yeah, you can block that way if you like, that's fine. Sure. Goes and gets a Shadow Spear, sure. Play Shadow Spear, you got it. And another Steel Shaper's Gift for a Hammer. Yep. Uh, Force of Vigor is looking like it's going to be pretty good. Ooh, Groff's Messenger. Not bad. House of Mana, hello and welcome. Might have been, um, yeah, I think we should have sacrificed the Groff's Messenger once here. Uh, draw an extra card just in case we drew Young Wolf or, um, like there's a couple of cards we could have drawn there for the one card that would have allowed us to just win the game right there. So we definitely should have sacrificed the messenger once. You're right. Thank you, House of Mana. So many things to uh, to keep track of here. If I had sacrificed the messenger, I'd be feeling pretty bad about it. Uh, yeah, I think this is fine. We'll just take three. They'll gain three, no problem. All right, so we could kill the Sanctifier for four mana, but then we don't have Force of Vigor up anymore. I want to keep the Force of Vigor up. That's one of the most important things here. Um, we could draw a card. We could go get Dryad Arbor. Hey, Mr. Gray Fox, thanks for joining us. Just uh, playing a bit of Yawgmoth combo. Drawn lands. Swing in for five. Block with Ornithopter would be my guess. Oh, that's fine with me. We can play a long game here. We'll go get Dryad Arbor with this uh, Vern Catacombs. Unfortunately, our Force of Vigor is going to cost a crime or a punishment if we want to use it. Ooh, yes, Mr. Gray Fox, I can. Um, thanks for reminding me. Oh no, another Sanctifier. Whatever will I do? Huh. 
How much mana do I have? Do I have enough? One, two, three, four, five, six. I only need four. Okay, we're good. So let's see here. Green, black. X is two. So we kill all creatures with converted mana cost of two. This doesn't target, so I'm pretty sure it gets the sanctifiers. It does. Nice. Cigar to Zage, sure. Activate Ink Moth Nexus, yup. Ah, uh, no blocks. Wall is a pitch, exactly that. Exactly. Yeah, no blocks. You want to put a hammer on that? What if you don't have a creature to put the hammer on? What are you going to do then? Scoop, I see, I see. Okay, so we got a couple minutes here um, for the sideboarding. We've already sideboarded. So I'm gonna take a moment to set up Stream Decker. And I'll be right back with you, chat, as soon as I get that set up. I'm pretty sure I did Yogmoth combo with Spellboard fairly recently. There it is. And we got the right deck up now on uh, Stream Decker. Thank you, Gray Fox. Uh, Gizlo says, got a modern FNM coming up tonight. Haven't seen Yog Moth there yet, which is a shame, but hopefully someone will bring it. Love the deck. Yeah, yeah. Um, I know in my community when this deck was uh, first revealed to be a thing once upon a time, um, myself and a, a friend, we both built it immediately. And I don't think I've seen anyone else play it besides we too. But I'm glad that uh, the deck is starting to get more traction now. We're starting to see it more and more. Um, yeah, that and our opponent's deck, Hammer Time, is also uh, coming into the spotlight right now. So it's pretty great that two of my favorite modern decks are uh, getting the, um, the credit that they deserve, finally. Although, on the other hand, it means that people are ready for them, so uh, I'm not a huge fan of that, but it is what it is. Alright, let's resubmit and get ready for game three. Uh, yep, this hand is good. We have Punishment, we have Young Wolf Yogmoth, we got Court of Calling. We could go get like uh, Dryad Arbor turn two with Court of Calling to ramp us to get into the Yogmoth turn three. I'm I'm very fine with this hand. Okay, so we're both starting with seven here. Lefet, hello. First turn Ink Moth Nexus. Uh just trying to think if they can kill us next turn. I don't think that's possible. But first turn Ink Moth is terrifying. That is exactly the score. 0-0, zero, zero, game 3. Um, so the 0-0 zero, zero speaks of matches. So we have not finished our first match yet. Sun Sunbath Canyon, that's the wrong land, opponent. I guess it doesn't matter if you're not playing cranial plating. 
Are you just going to throw the hammer down? I think I would actually be more afraid of a spring leaf drum. Okay, they're going to keep the hammer in hand. So what if they have um, Sigarda's Aid? They won't quite have the mana for that next turn, so we're going to have the turn to Court of Calling, then put Yawgmoth in play. Cool. All right, we'll play Twilight Mire and pass. Uh, how's the deck performing? I mean, I love this deck. This is one of my uh, top two decks in modern that I enjoy playing. I'm not saying, you know, like this deck is, you know, number two in the format, but uh, it's definitely a good deck. And um, it's the one that I uh, enjoy playing the most, I would say. Yeah, I kind of feel like you should have a good matchup versus Elves. Ooh, Sanctifier on Vec. That's pretty good at carrying a hammer. We do have the punishment to get rid of it. Give us Once Upon a Time again? I wish. Okay, Court of Calling. I'll go green, green, add green. We'll get Dryad Arbor. What do we get? Young Wolf. Nice. Um, so are we dead next turn? We have a blocker with the Young Wolf. So I think we could probably play... Hmm. Probably just play the Yawgmoth here. And leave the young wolf untapped. I'm going to go with basic forest because we have Yawgmoth. Yeah, we'll have the double black this turn. It's fine. Oh, the other deck I love is the one my opponent is playing, Hammer Time. Love some Hammer Time. I would like to play Humans again. Um, I should uh, I should write that down. I should play Humans again. Play Humans again. I like that. Draw a card. That's good for us. There's the one. Silent Clearing. That's the one you're supposed to play. Okay, Stoneforge Mystic. Sure. <laughs> what are the odds we just play Punishment next turn? It would be fine. It's a two for one, you know? Really? Humans with Recruiter is good, you say? Um, so we have the Yawgmoth to save us from the Ink Moth. I'm kind of into just playing Punishment. Ooh, the Evolution. I think that actually wins us the game. So we play Young Wolf, and then we Evolution to go get a, uh, a Wuss name, a Cutthroat, and we just win. Played more than 500 games with a deck in total, and Recruiter is really incredible. Wow. Oh, wait, if we play both Yawgmoth and his tomb, wouldn't that cause a temporal paradox? Well, it's similar to having, like, two Thalias on the board. They can come from different dimensions. Alright, so green. This one. And, I guess, whatever, this one here. Uh, green, green. Evolve the Young Wolf. Uh, 
Alright, go get... There it is, Cutthroat. And start the Sacrifice combo. Alright, so... Target this, sack this. And opponent scoops! Thank you, opponent, um, for scooping up. Uh, this looks fine to me. Are we on the play? I think so, right? Yeah. So we go turn one, Young Wolf, turn two, Spell Skite, uh, turn three, Hope, that we get a untapped land so we can play Scurry Oak, and then we can, like, Eldritch Evolution this Spell Skite, maybe, into um, Ivy Lane. This hand looks great. All right, so um, I've uh, definitely raided the streamer in the past. Oh, the thing didn't work. Oh, but I didn't put a space, that's why. There you go. Give him a follow if you like. I don't know if they're streaming right now. Maybe I should ask. Nice! Untapped land. Okay. Uh, so yeah, we'll play the Spell Sky here. Yeah, the opponent's deck is super good. We're just going to go with Basic Forest. And if you want to block, that's fine. All right, we can't really F6 here. We have Spell Skite. Okay, so throwing the Scourge into the bin, that gets them Creature and Artifact. Hmm, so I really don't want to evolve the spell skite if they're gonna be um if they're gonna have mana. Oh no, Thoughtseize. This could actually just be uh delirium ready to go immediately. Nope, okay, they miss. So this is actually Death Shadow. I'm wondering if it might be Mardu. Um, I mean you got two choices here. I think you're gonna take the evolution. But we do have uh, other ways of... Oh no, another Thought Seize? Okay, bye-bye both cards. They're looking for the land. Oh, looks like they kept a card on top. No, that's triple Thought Seize. So they milled a Thought Seize for the Thought Seize. Uh, no attacks here, obviously. And a forest draw. Unfortunate. I think we'll just play Colony Guard in here. Attack for one and pass. We had a fantastic hand and then the opponent ripped it apart. Oh, they're down to nine. I do that too. Where you uh, you click on the Dragon Rage Channeler to attack with it, but it's already attacking. They did that for you. Oh, there's a Death Shadow. 4-4. Four, four. And a Wall of Roots on our side. Well, that's not hot, but uh, let's see what happens anyway. 
Uh, I think I want to play the Wall of Roots, play the Peatland, use the Wall of Roots to draw a card. Maybe we don't, because Wall of Roots actually blocks Death Shadow currently. Uh, Lafette, yeah, if you just play, uh, type exclamation mark deck into the chat, you'll get it. Alright, pass turn. Hey, cheers, Mr. Gray Fox. Okay, Death Shadow's a 6-6 six, six now, so I guess we're blocking it with a plant. How about some uh, good cards here, deck? I would like a Grist. Unholy Heat, killing the Spellskite. Yep, that works. I would still like a Grist, please. Yogmoth would be acceptable. Oh, ah, there it is. Acceptable Yogmoth. Don't. Don't. Don't do it. Ah. And it's Exaxes. All right. I think that's about it. We can play for another turn. I'll use the uh, the young wolf here to block the shadow. I think we've got like two, maybe three more turns, depending on how they play. They could like put um, Luris into hand, cast Luris, cast Shadow next turn. So we're under uh, quite the uh, quite the clock here, and having no resources is not looking good. I'm expecting a Luris to hand with this. Yep. Do they have a follow-up? That would be terrifying if they did. Okay, just leaving up two mana. That's also terrifying. And we just draw a land. Okay, let's draw a card with the Pete. And we get another land. Okay. Play Blooming Marsh Pass. Oh, Battle Rage has been super scary for a couple turns, yeah. We were trying to draw something nice off the top, but the uh, deck just decided to give us mediocre draws. Hopefully, uh, we'll have something nice to do in games two and three. Honestly, though, I don't think we can uh, come back in this game. Um, Grist would probably still be our best draw. We could play Grist, make an insect, so we have a blocker for both of their shadows. But, nah. no, nah, we're not getting through this. Dragon Rage Channeler with his flying is going to end it all by itself, even if we could block the shadows for infinite turns. Channeler is a great card. Super, super good magic card. Interesting that they played the Luris and then decided not to bring back a Scourge. 
that really makes me believe that they specifically have Drown in the Lock in hand. Okay, well, they let the Strangaroot Geist down. Well, that is interesting. They played the Luris, they held up mana. Strange. Maybe they're just... Oh, okay. There you go. Now, it's the game either way. So, we're going to bring in Punishment. <laughs> Channeler is strong like Monkey. I think you got, you're onto something there. Uh, we could bring in Veil of Summer. They have counter spells. They have Thought Seizes. Don't think we're going to get too much value out of the rest of our sideboard. So what are we going to take out? Take out Messenger. Take out Oak. Take out Ivy Lane. And one more thing. Eldritch Evolution. Actually, I think I would rather take out two Eldritch Evolutions and hold one of my Messengers. They're holding, they're heavy, they have counter spells, so Eldritch Evolution is very weak um, against the counter spell deck. And it's interesting they decided to, um, for Eldritch Evolution, have a boar coming out of a boar. I mean, like, it has that Eldritch flair to it, obviously. But imagine if they had had a Thrag Tusk coming out of this boar. How cool would that have been? Because you can, like, Eldritch Evolution a Thrag Tusk out of a Kitchen Finks. That would be sweet. Why am I not doing that? Obviously, because what we're doing is better, but, you know, it sounds great. One land hand versus the Thought Seize removal deck. We have so many birds. We could just play birds for days. They're going to bolt all our birds. But I don't want a mulligan versus the Thought Seize deck, you know? And if they're bolting... Oh my, that is a lot of mulligans, opponent. So obviously this is not a very good hand, but... Uh, that's sort of been the way that we've been playing today. Actually, we could probably go back through most of my streams and just be like, mediocre keep, mediocre keep. But uh, that's part of the game, really. We have to decide if uh, the cards we've been dealt are good enough or if we would like to take a mulligan. I mean, it's an opportunity. Ooh, okay. 
So what are you going to take with a Thought Seize? My guess is Yawgmoth. Oh, put down the birds first. I see. Because the Hierarch is better. So we could have, like, baited the bolt with a bird. Oh, a Swamp. Well, Swamp doesn't cast bird, unfortunately, so I'm not going to be able to attack. Not that attacking is very good versus the opponent's deck. We're really going to want to just uh, try and win with a combo. Well, we got five mana, so we can go get a two with Court of Calling. Ooh, Dothy Voidwalker's a good one. Let's see if we get... No, we don't. I was hoping we would get um, another mana so we could go get Grist. Alright, so one, two, three, four, five. We can Cord for a two. We could go get Hapatra and then kill their board. Well, let's just pass. Uh, so yeah, one, two, three, four, five, and then next turn we would have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, no, don't want to attack because I want a cord for two. Sure. I don't like that last mana sitting there, but it is what it is. Oh, imagine if we could just go get uh, Spellskite here. That would be so much better. Uh, let's go get a Patra. Odds are pretty good they have a removal spell here. But I guess worst case, we can go get Grist next turn. Uh, that only kills one Voidwalker. That's not very good. Essence Warden? Hmm. I mean, so that's basically free. And then we can go get a three, which is Grist. But yeah, like I was saying before, Gris just dies immediately. And they can kill it with the Voidwalkers. Can't block Voidwalkers. Uh, so otherwise, we for threes, we don't really have anything too good. So I guess I'll attack for two. Voidwalker can't block? I know. What what else could I have attacked with? Hmm. Oh, uh, thanks then. Um, Proto Spice Boy, this is my favorite modern deck.
All right, I'm going to take a look at the list here. Patcher is gone. We could get Strangle Root. You get Spell Skite. So yeah, we don't have anything too good to cord for here. We could just go get like a um the two power attacker. Gain a life. That doesn't really matter too much. Dothy Voidwalker, pretty good against our deck. Ah, uh, did not want to see a land here. Let's draw a card. And another land. Unfortunate. Alright, swinging for four. And we're probably dead. I mean, Lightning Bolt doesn't quite kill us. We did gain a life with the Essence Warden. Lands the Gathering? Absolutely. Yeah, unfortunately, we're just not going to be fast enough to beat these Voidwalkers. Voidwalkers, really good. Oh, there's a creature that blocks. So Strangerroot Geist isn't going to get through. Not that that matters. What do we draw? What do we draw? Ignoble Hierarch. So we could swing in for three. But we die on the crackback. TikTok on the clock. Attackers you can't block. All right, that puts us at one and one for the league. This hand looks great. We'll keep. Gonna hope for something to play on turn two, but uh, definitely want to keep. Not too interested in throwing down an Eldritch Evolution. Oh, okay, we got uh, Shivan Reef. Serum Visions. And we have a um, Emrakul uh, Avatar. So my guess is going to be through the breach. It could be storm as well. Yep. Okay. Wall of roots. That is a turn two play. So do we go get forest here with the Vernon catacombs? I don't think so because Vernon catacombs could go get dried Arbor later. So we'll just play the overgrown tomb first. Storm in 2021? Yeah, not, not often, but there it is. It is Storm. Ignoble Hierarch, that's another card we could play. Take one. Are we dead? I mean, it was pretty brave to just slam that Baral. Maybe they have another Baral in hand. But I'm kind of thinking, like, go get Grist, kill Baral. They could have Remand in hand. Maybe I was supposed to go get Grist before. Grist wouldn't have been able to kill Baral before. Because I would have only had Bird and these two lands evolve away the Bird, get Grist, and Grist has nothing to sacrifice to kill Baral. If we had drawn Grist, that would have been good. Oh! They're killing our mana dorks with this Grape Shot. I mean, yeah, that works pretty well for them. Good call, opponent. 
and they still have mana up for the remand. So we're definitely not casting an Eldritch Evolution into that. Uh, let's go get Swamp. Here's the remand. Oh! Return target spell or creature to its own owner's hand. Unsubstantiate. Trying to remember when they started playing that. There was a period where they played it because there was a card that people used to play that was so common that they just needed to have unsubstantiate or something like it to be able to put cards back into the opponent's hand. Yeah, Remand is way better. They get to draw a card with that. Alright, so we can play Yavamaya. They're tapped out, so we could go get something with the Eldritch Evolution. But that's not really going to do us much good um, in this situation. So I think we just play Yawgmoth again, honestly. They have three cards in hand with two Stormlords. That Grape Shot set us back quite a bit. Okay, draw a card with their land. Desperate Ritual, so they're going for it. Past in Flames, ugh. They're going to be able to do a lot with that. Let's just go ahead and six. What do we have in our sideboard for this? we got the Pair of Damping Spheres. Um, Veil of Summer is like a counterspell for um, one of their cards. We also have Endurance and Thoughtseize. So I think we bring in Thoughtseize, Endurance, and Damping Sphere. Because I think that Endurance to get rid of the uh, the cards in their graveyard in response to Past and Flames is probably going to be better than casting Veil into their um, Gifts Ungiven. That's a lot of red mana you got there, opponent. A lot of red mana. You got a Grape Shot. I mean, it's a good Grape Shot, but it's not lethal yet. So that's 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 puts us to 2. Ooh, empty the Warrens. Okay, that's a good one. Especially if uh, one of their last three cards in hand is Remand. Kill our critters with Grape Shot, maybe? Or are we, are we dead now? Because that was only one more spell. No, because this has Flashback 2 now. So it is actually death. And they have the Grape Shot left. Because this is Storm Count 16, Grape Shot is 17. Well navigated, opponent. All 
All right, so let's get this into pile view for the sideboard. I want to bring in the two damping spheres, the two thought seas. Um, I want the endurance. We could bring in punishment, which would get rid of all the opponent's goblins. I don't think that's all that great though. Let's take out the spell skite. Um, take out some number of evolution. Um, do I want the Ivy Lane Scurry Oak combo? Yeah, they don't have too much disruption, so we'll keep that in. Um, do I want the Hapatra? Well, definitely pretty cool seeing Storm again. Um, when I was running this deck with a white splash, uh, we had Eidolon of the Rhetoric in the sideboard, or Rhetoric. And, I mean, obviously that is just super good versus um, the Storm deck, although we did see the Unsubstantiate, which would have gotten rid of it. Uh, Grist is super good. Grist is absolutely incredible. One of the best additions that we got. Um, between Grist and Ignoble Hierarch, it's difficult to say which card is the better get for the deck. Although obviously, Endurance is also super, super good. And I think that you would be well within your rights to play uh, a pair of Grist in this deck. Especially if you were um, not going to play the Scurry Oak Ivy Lane Denizen combo. Because I'm playing that extra combo, that's two slots that have been taken away from other cards. No lands, must mull. All lands, deck! What are you doing to me, deck? All right, so we're keeping this. We'll keep the two lands, keep the thought seize, um, get rid of the cutthroat, keep one of the geists and the wall of roots. So we get rid of these two. And might as well thought seize turn one, because uh, what else are we doing with uh, our turn? Uh, do I want to swamp here? I think we'll just go get um, Overgrown Tomb. So we have. Better mana later on. Uh, do we take opt? I think we just take opt. Take their turn one play. We're in Emrakul range. Oh, you're right. I'm such a fool. Pew pew, it's the Yawgmoth combo. Hey there, Donut. All right, so do we play the Strangaroot Geist to start attacking their life total immediately, or do we play Wall of Roots so that we have better mana later on? We play Wall of Roots, we're guaranteed able to get the Grist down, and that's going to be able to kill their Stormlords turn after turn. So I'm going to, um, I'm going to value the Grist here. We're going to put down the Wall of Roots. Ooh, Donut, you get to play Modern tonight? That's awesome. What deck are you going to play? Spire Bluff Canal. Okay, we get rid of these two. Young Wolf. Ooh, we could just play Strangaroot Geist the Young Wolf this turn. I'm going to do that. Like, I want to play the Grist, sure, but... Play two creatures, we're most of the way to the combo. Blue green scape shift mill. Scape shift mill. I don't know if uh, I've seen that.
Okay, uh, that's this. And there's the Baral. So they have two Manamorphos, one Manamorphos. Oh, they're going for it. Oh, so I've seen it previously in one of the early YouTube videos. Cool. Really? So they revealed all that and they only found Manamorphos. Well, that's good for us. But they decided to continue. So they probably have like Grape Shot or something good in hand already. So that whatever happens, they're going to be able to at least kill the Wall of Roots. Because like killing our undying creatures doesn't seem that great. They might be fizzling here. Maybe if I'm lucky. Ah, besides, I don't think I can really be expected to remember all of the decks that I've ever played against. I play so much magic, and my memory is so poor. Okay. Wall of Roots, Wall of Roots, Wall of Roots, me, 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 that makes sense. So we need a land off the top to get this Grist onto the battlefield. We get Court of Calling instead. Yeah, yeah, I mean, some people, that's what they enjoy in magic. A bit of solitaire. So we could attack with Strangaroot Geist. They could block. It's not that great. Maybe we just like Court of Calling for like... Uh -huh. Ignoble Hierarch? Oh, this is so awkward. Oh, that wasn't a very good Pieces of the Puzzle either, because Pieces of the Puzzle only gets Instance or Sorcery, so they only got a Ritual out of that. Alright, so we're going to try a Court of Calling. Uh, we're going to go for Ignoble here, because we can go get a Dryad with a uh, Fetch Land later. Resolve, resolve, please resolve. Don't give me any of that reman shit. Cool. Okay, now we're doing something. Oh, they're actually going for the ritual here. So they got something. Oh my, they're going to go for Past and Flames with that loaded graveyard. We're empty-handed, so hit six, let the opponent do their thing. Storm was one of the five modern decks you built back in January. It's not something you see very often anymore, but, um, yeah, I mean, solid deck, obviously. It's my dream to play it with Rite of Flame, Preordain, and Seething Song. Hey, well, you know, there's a format that uh, I'm very fond of where you could play exactly those cards in a Storm deck. Stop it. I guess it's down to one. Two. 
Ah, another grape shot. All right. Woof. Unfortunate starting hand here. But we can get both of our dorks down turn two. Oh my god, those guys. Thanks a lot for uh, looking out for my health. I'm going to have a drink of water. Got to keep that brain working. All right, I'm actually going to keep this. It's super awkward, but um, we're going to see what we can do with it. We'll just play basic swamp turn one, so the opponent's not really going to know what we're up to. Um, it's also kind of representing a removal spell. Ooh, we're playing against hardened scales. We got a Yawgmoth. Okay, so Yawgmoth and Hepatra... That is super, super good. So next turn, we're going to be able to play the Bird and the Ignoble. The turn after that, we can play the Yog Moth. The turn after that, we can play Hapatra, win the game. Oh, no, Walking Ballista. That sucks. I mean, like, it's hardened scales. What do you expect? Walking Ballista turn two. Oh, man. What are we going to do now? Probably just put down Hepatra, honestly. I don't want them to just mow down my two dorks. Although that might have been better than sacrificing the Hapatra. Sacrifice an artifact to proliferate. Oh no! They're going to be able to proliferate onto the Walking Ballista, making it just enormous. It's going to go up to, what, a 6? No, they're just going to proliferate onto the Power Depot. So they were sacrificing the Throne of Geth. I thought they were going to sacrifice the Power Depot. Whatever, we'll take the damage. We're not going to win this game. I guess we could get Grist off the top. I mean, that's not even going to work anymore because they killed the Pop Patra. And next turn, they're going to be able to start just four mana putting counters onto the Walking Ballista. Um, I played this deck once, Hardened Scales. It was super fun. A very, very complicated deck, though. Um, I found that, uh, I mean, it was my first time playing the deck, so that was part of it. But I found that I was going into the tank quite often, spending, you know, like two, three, maybe even five minutes on a turn trying to find the line. There's so many things you can do with Hardened Scales. Yeah, big time math deck. Another walking ballista? Wow. I think we can just scoop it up. We can't beat these ballistas. And unfortunately, we do not have um, the really, really cool spellboard cards that I would have in this matchup. Um, like Blight Beetle basically single-handedly just kills the opponent's deck. Um, yep, Scales is the new affinity. That and Hammer Time.
Ooh, donut. Sorry for your loss. So we're going to take six. Go to eight. Or we can sacrifice the spell skite. I guess we sack the spell skite. Messenger. So, yeah, that's GG. Huh. We could play Ivy Lane Denison, then play Dryad Arbor. Yeah, get him. The Walking Ballistas were too good there. And unfortunately, we do not have Blight Beetle in this list, but we do have Rex Sage, Force of Vigor, and Punishment. So that's five cards to bring in. What are we taking out? Usually take out a messenger. Uh, do we want to? Do we want Grist in this matchup? We definitely want to keep the spell skite. Well, we're gonna have to take out cards. So Grist is on the maybe. Um, we're gonna take out the scurry combo. Because we got to take out cards. And then maybe one of our search cards. One more card to go. Is the Grist where we want to be? I mean, generally we want to keep Grist. Being able to kill one of their creatures can be pretty important especially if we have a spell skite to back it up just play 65 cards there we go oh there's the grist ah uh, yeah we keep this turn two grist Let's find out if it's good. Ooh, okay. So they don't have um, turn two... Or sorry, they don't have turn one hardened scales. Eldritch Evolution. Ah, if only we had Blight Beetle! Would you like to graft? Ooh, damn. We milled a cutthroat. That's not good. Oh, well, well we know it's there, so we'll just uh, make sure that if we get to ward a combo, we just won't do that. Yeah, there's a walking ballista for two. You're going to kill the hierarch with that? Yep. Riot Arbor is so bad here. What about, like, go Strangle Root Geist, sack the Geist, kill the Ballista. Sure. Stomping ground untapped. Ozolith. Ozolith. 
and a hanger back. Not bad, not bad. All right, are we going to be able to resolve a Yawgmoth? Need a black mana source. We don't get it. Um, but we could kill their hanger back and their Ozileth during their turn. Uh, let's start by ticking this up. Um, we could also just evolution the Geist to get a Yawgmoth. Uh, so how many creatures do we have for Cord? One, two, three, four, five, six. So we could go to three with Cord. Getting a three with Cord is pretty good. Could go get um, Gross Messenger and try and win the game next turn. And that also lets us Force of Vigor. Yeah, let's just pass the turn. Arcbound Ravager. I don't think that kills us by itself. They need something else to go with it. Nice art on that one, though. Zabaz. Okay, so I think they're setting up for a kill like next turn. We're going to kill right now. All right, so I'm going to want to use this Force of Vigor, and we're going to Court of Calling for a thing. We still need a mana. Oof. And it has to be a black source. If I killed things with Force of Vigor, what would I kill? Uh, I'm just going to see if I can win here. We would Eldritch Evolution on the uh, the Garof's Messenger. If we Eldritch Evolution on Geist, it's gone. And then we can reset once we get a Yawgmoth in play. But um, yes, thank you very much for the uh, the tip there, Azurd. Um, it definitely got me on the right track. Don't really like the way they're just pausing here. Almost like they had something to do. Maybe they're just considering if they're supposed to scoop. Indeed. Okay, that puts us at one and one. Uh, I guess we're just going to resubmit here. I don't think I want to change anything. Gris definitely did some work there. Um, getting the walking ballista off the table and then giving us a bunch of creatures to be able to uh, get mana for the Court of Calling. Uh, we got a Dryad Arbor in our hand. If this were a forest, this hand would be good. But it's not, and it's not. 
This is at least better. We can keep this. What do we get rid of? Um, probably, let's see here. We've got to keep the lands. Got to keep the dorks. Got to keep the yog. I want to keep the sage. So it's actually probably messenger we get rid of. Could have got maybe rid of one of the dorks. Oh, uh, Hardened Scales? No, it's an Ozolath. Okay. Not the worst. Urza Saga. And a Walking Ballista. Not choosing not to sacrifice the ballista here. So we could play Wall of Roots and Hierarch. That does give them a lot of targets for their ballista, but if they're spending their money on their Urza, or sorry, their manas on the Urza Saga, they're not be pumping up the ballista. Ooh, Ravager's a good one for them. Ouch. So they sacrifice Ravager, put the counters on Ozoleth and Walking Ballista. And then the counters from Ozoleth go on to Ballista. Wow, that's pretty good. Fortunately, we have the Rex Sage to kill the Ballista here. But that Ballista is going to be able to mow down our team. I'm just going to take the damage here. And they should probably just kill our two uh, dorks right now. Yeah, they're going to. Uh, exactly that, Donut. That is exactly the plan. Rex Sage kill Ballista. So I think what they should do here is use one counter to kill the Ballista and then let the ability resolve and put two counters on the Ozolath. And that's exactly what they're doing. So we got our Wall of Roots, we got our Plant Token, and three lands. So they're going to make a, uh, a Karnstruct with a Saga. What are you going to get with a Saga here? My guess is Pithing Needle naming Yogmoth. Graft Digger's Cage, that's a good one too. Graft Digger's Cage is super good versus our deck. We're going to block with the plant here. 
Oh, no attacks? Oh, of course it's not going to attack. It's summoning sick. Uh. Alright, fortunately the Graf Digger's cage keeps our uh, wolf from undying. So we're going to have to find an answer to that cage at some point. If we want to win this game. Uh-oh. Dismember Yogmoth. <laughs> That's unfortunate. I want to draw cards, but like Graft Digger's Cage. So I decided to, um, instead of paying life to draw cards, we're going to just block to gain time. Uh, there's a Patra. So if we get another Yogmoth, we're looking pretty good actually. Patra plus Yogmoth kills a board pretty quick. Uh, let's draw a card here, see what we get. Another Yog. If we don't get land, though, we're screwed. I guess we could, like, sacri we could block with Young Wolf, and then we still have the mana with the Wall of Roots. Animation module is pretty good. Undying doesn't work. Do we get a land? We don't. Oh well. Good thing we kept the Wall of Roots. Yuckmoth. Alright, so um, this nearly kills us, but we get rid of their board. Uh, yeah, that sounds pretty good, Donut. Oh, we have a peatland, but that gives us uh, pain mana, so we're not into that one. Urborg, okay. I mean, at least that's mana we don't have to pay for. Thanks, oh my god, those guys. Here's the thing. So, I sacrifice, I kill the Arcbound Worker, their modular trigger goes onto the stack before we get the snake. So I think we have to kill this Karnstruct here right now. And then just leave the Arcbound Worker, we can block it. Or if they put try and put a counter on it, we're fine. No? 
Karnstruck gets minus one from one more artifact. Perfect. So we don't even have to lose that. Okay, thanks guys. Targets the Arcbound Worker. Oh, I didn't see that coming. But they die as a state-based effect during the opponent's... during my cleanup. These die, I think. So I think we just play Overgrown Tomb and pass. I think it's... Okay, you think it's during upkeep. I think it's during cleanup. It's during cleanup. Uh, we'll get rid of one of the evolutions. We got a bunch of them. <laughs> Minus five. Nice. Is Ozileth a May? Yeah, it is. Oh, onto Tar I didn't know it could do it onto my creatures. I didn't know that worked. Nothing we can do about that. Did not know they could do that. Alright, so Eldritch Evolutions don't work because of the Graft Digger's Cage. We've got to remember that. Yeah, opponent got us pretty good there. Has this deck life gain? Yes, it does. We have Essence Warden and um, Cutthroat. Ooh, did not see that coming. Well, opponent is uh, a good magic player. They are seeing lines that I did not see coming at all. All right, we're going to put this down so we have a blocker. Pass the bat, turn back. Wow, well played, opponent. I think they probably deserve this game. I hate that we don't have Hapatcher anymore. Hapatcher was so good with the Graft Digger's Cage in play. One, two, three, one, two, three, four.
Yeah, where are those force of vigors? Good point. Um, we can try if we need to. We don't have a lot of draws, though. We have two draws total. And the snake with a death touch to kill the construct could be pretty important here. Because uh, my opponent made an excellent play and killed my Hepatra. If we still had Hepatra in the battlefield, we'd be doing a lot better. We wouldn't be able to kill their critters with it, but if we got an Essence Warden, we would be able to win. What is this? Blade of the Blood Chief. Whenever a creature dies, put a plus one, plus one counter on equipped creature. Neat. Block here, block here. And they just go ahead and put three counters onto their construct. Don't even bother with the uh, the Pendle Haven there to save their other servo. I mean, they can make new servos. Oh man, they can make a new servo for every single one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can make a bunch of servos. I get it. I just want to draw something. Let's go. Punishment. Give me a punishment, please. One punishment. One time. Uh, because Cage says that creatures in libraries can't enter the battlefield. And another land. Ah, uh, so we're dead. Oh, we have one more draw here. Ah, uh, it's not going to do it. All right, um, so GG. Oh, we have one more block, right? We have one more block. I mean, at least one more, but uh, that animation module is probably going to just flood this board with servos in short order. But, you know, maybe we draw Punishment. Ozileth puts two minus one minus one counters on something. Sure. Yeah, you can put counters on um, Yogmoth as long as it doesn't die. Go to blocks, uh, block here, and I guess block here.
All right. I mean, this is part of playing this deck. Um, there's a lot of lands, uh, a lot of mana. There's a lot of mana in this deck. So when you're really looking for that card off the top, sometimes you're going to draw air for like three turns in a row. So we have exactly enough blockers to survive this turn and then we're dead. Oh no, but the Pendlehaven kills Yogmoth. Oh, that sucks. Oh well. Don't think we can win at this point. Um, even if, I don't know, maybe if we drew Punishment, we could win. Because we could get rid of their Karnstruct. But they would be able to continue making servos from that point on. They'd still have the blade. We can't really do it on one as much as I would want to. Maybe. How much mana do we have? Ah, uh, it doesn't matter. We don't get it anyway. GG. Uh, keep this. This hand's great. Alright, so I think we probably... I don't know. Like We can probably just go get Swamp with Verdant Catacomb. So let's start with the Yavimaya. Even though that means we're giving them forests. Uh, have you tried that Mardu modern list? I did. It was amazing. Um, we ended up going 3-2 with it, but uh, super tight list. I loved it. Badagaboosh. Thanks for the follow, friend. So I think we just play Wall of Roots here. And pass the turn. Uh, no, I have not played in the Mana Traders. Uh, currently, I'm just playing Leagues, and that's it. Um, it's difficult to get into much else with my schedule. Leagues are just so convenient. Working on uh, Golgari Infect. Good luck. I have a friend who's very much into uh, the classic uh, Infect list. You know, this is looking a lot like Hammer Time, but there's no Luris. So maybe they're playing Hammer Time with Batter Skull and Compliet. Um, personally, I am definitely a big fan of the, uh, Ivy Oak combo. And I've taken out a, um, a messenger and a wall of roots to put it in. All right. So we have four mana, so we could play wall of roots and Eldritch evolution. And then we could go get Yogmoth. That seems pretty good. We could go get a three drop with Court of Calling. We could go get a Yogg Moth with Court of Calling during their upkeep, but then they get to use the Stoneforge Mystic. 
Yeah, I'm just going to um, go ahead and evolution right now. Go get Yogg. Um, they have the Giver of Ruins, so we can't really kill their Stoneforge Mystic. What's the thought behind Spellskite Main to be able to save the Yawgmoth at an opportune time? Um, we get a Yawgmoth down, we have a Court of Calling in hand. They try and kill the Yawgmoth with anything. We slam down Spellskite out of nowhere. Mishra's Factory. Cool. Tapping for that green mana. Sure, you got a comp yet. But if you uh, only have a comp yet, then I think you're going to die. Because we can Court of Calling for um, Hepatra and just kill their board. Not about to let you exile my young wolf. But I would like to keep the Wall of Roots around for that extra mana. Not that I necessarily need it. But I might. I might want it. Ooh, Solitude. See if we had that Court of Calling available. Huh, but we don't. So let's see, we could go get a one, we could get Young Wolf, which means we could draw about infinite cards. Is Tron dead in modern? Um, if you're thinking about green Tron, basically yes. Target sack. So we can draw a lot of cards here. But it's going to cost us one life every time. Target sack. Uh, Eldrazi Tron is the new Tron hotness, yes. Uh, target sack. Looking for another Yogmoth here. Target sack. Target sack. Target this one. Sacrifice this one. There we go. Court of Calling. That gets us Yogmoth. And let's go ahead and kill their Giver of Ruins as well. Gain two life, thank you. Cool. Oh, another giver of ruins, okay. Ooh, we get oh, we get Ivy Lane Denizen. Hmm. So we could go for the Ivy Lane combo? I don't think we can do it this turn, though. Yeah, we just don't have enough mana available. One, two, three, four, five. 
So we play Ivy Lane, one, two, three, four, put it down. And then we have one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we can actually do the Ivy Lane combo during the opponent's turn. I think that's fine. Just make it t a million squirrels. So we have to use the Wall of Roots if we want to do it. And then just double counting my mana here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. And we can actually play the Ignoble Hierarch as well. Put a counter on Wall of Roots. And we go to their upkeep. Okay, uh, use the Wall of Roots, Court of Calling. X is three. Go get Scurry Oak. And put the counter onto the Scurry Oak. Okay, so let's start uh, setting up our yields here. Always yes, always yield. Um, target Scurry Oak. Save targets, okay. So now every time I hit the one button, I get a squirrel. And they scoop. Scurry Oak. Okay, so um, they're playing... As far as I know, they're playing Death and Taxes. Um, Spell Sky is so-so here. Uh, what do we got from the sideboard? We got Rex Sage, kind of so-so. Um, punishment, mediocre. I don't think our sideboard is going to be uh, helping us out too much here in this matchup. We could bring in like Force of Vigor, but Force of Vigor doesn't get rid of the comp yet. We could bring in Rex Sage. Again, like it doesn't get rid of the comp yet, but it does get rid of Batter Skull. You think the Thought Seize is good? Um, I actually like most of the cards for this list as well. I don't think I want to take much out. Take out a Messenger, maybe. Mugu, thank you for the follow, friend. I guess like we can thought seize the um the complete itself. But we don't have a lot of cards to take out in this matchup. We want to keep the Hapatra, we want to keep the Spell Skite. Um the evolutions and Court of Callings are all good here in this matchup. Maybe we just present as is. This hand looks great. Let's go for another Ivy Lane combo. Esper Sentinel. Yep, that's a good one. Good start. 
I'll play the ignoble hierarch as my start. You're not going to get too many draws out of me, Esper Sentinel. Don't have a lot of uh, non-creature spells. No blocks. Do they have... No, it's an Arbiter. Arbiter's pretty good against us, actually. So let's see here. I think we'll go Wall of Roots, Young Wolf, Colony Garden. Maybe, maybe I'm just saying that totally wrong. Um, I mean, it's definitely happened before. It took me a while to be able to say Asmorano, Mardika, Days Tina, Kaldakar. So if we cord, we can't cord for anything because of the Arbiter. It's just complete. Okay. I kind of figured that's what the word meant, but I thought it was a uh, a strange way of putting it out there. Well, I guess uh, I guess I'm eating crow. Dude doesn't even know how to say complete. Uh, thank you very much for um, pointing that out. It means that I don't have to uh, say the word wrong in the future. So obviously, we're playing the Twilight Mire. Um, how much mana do we have? One, two, three, four, five. So we cannot play Messenger and Ivy Lane. We could just throw an Ivy Lane down, though. Or we could just throw down Messenger. If we throw down Messenger, Yogmoth wins it. And Messenger at least will be untapped next turn. We'll make it easier for Court of Calling. We'll have the four mana to pay. And then we can go get a one, two, three, four, five, six, a three drop. Ooh, that could be good with the Ivy Lane in hand. Yeah, okay, let's put down the Messenger. And we're just going to pass here. I could attack with a 2-2 Young Wolf. That's, that's probably fine to attack with a Young Wolf here. If they want to trade, that's great. If not, we get some free damage in. Yeah, but I appreciate that Watsi teaches me new words. Like ignoble and arbiter and denizen and concession. So we had a little bit of trouble with Yogmoth combo today, but uh, you can't win all the games every day. Um, as far as the spell board goes, I mean, it's pretty good, but I think I would like to go back to my uh, my bullet board with all the uh, the silver bullets in there. Um, I would have loved to have been able to put down a Blight Beetle versus... Uh, ah, that's what it was. Hardened Scales. Would have loved to have put down a Blight Beetle versus Hardened Scales. Um, although I don't know that the... Um, bullet board would have done too much better for us through the rest of the matches. 